Welcome back to Good Morning, Lala, on Transformation Tuesday. There's nothing better than transforming through conscious conversations. And Dr. Nicola Sisso is in from Aspen. Yes. She has a platform called Aspen Talks Health. And um, just thank you so much for being here and bringing your conscious conversation to the world. Thank you. We love your dress. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. <laughs> thank you mm-hmm. so much. Yeah. Thank you for all that you're doing on the show. It's really yeah. important work. Tell us a little bit about your journey to beginning that platform. Sure. Uh, so I, I realized that my mission was to do my best at shifting humanity towards a more compassionate way of living. Mm-hmm. And I learned that nutrition is a huge part of that. Uh, what we eat is so important, both to our own health, to the environmental's health, environment's health and the animal well-being. Mm-hmm. What we're doing in livestock production is torturous. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. And then I had a personal journey with type 1 diabetes. I got diagnosed at 29 years old which this kind you should get it for. So it made no sense, but the doctor sent me home and said, you know, it's just genetic, here's your meds, good luck. And that's not the case. The more I explored, there are so many things that cause type one diabetes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Antibiotics, ruining your gut health, Uh, wheat and casein, uh, if milk, gliadin and wheat and casein and milk, both are proteins that will attach to your pancreas cells, Mm -hmm. tag them as antigens, and then your immune system goes in and destroys your own cells that produce insulin. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's also adverse childhood experiences. Right. So So the point is that they say that only one to two percent of the population actually is born with type one diabetes. mm -hmm. That is actually an environmentally can be turned on. The genes can actually be turned on through gene through environment. But it really comes down to consciousness because how we our stress comes down to consciousness and how what we choose to put in our bodies, what the culture has created in our water and so on and so forth. So true. So this is, I believe, a great I mean, it's a it's a blessing and curse because it's become your mission. Right. Absolutely. It's absolutely a blessing. And and that's part of my show's uh, mission is to to share that a disease is a, is a blessing. And if you can, okay. as soon as you can see it as that, it's your body talking to you. It's telling you that you're doing something wrong. So what was your body saying? If you don't mind me asking, what were some of the symptoms and the signs you felt physically and mentally that sure. you were unwell, that this was not normal? Sure, the first sign is exhaustion. I was so, so tired all day long. And then the second symptom when I was getting close to really being diagnosed was a thirst. I could have drank a gallon of water, gone to the restroom every 10 minutes and still extremely thirsty. Mm. And the last symptom was my eyesight went out. It it got very blurry. I was living in New York and I couldn't read the numbers of the street signs right below the street sign. And I was like, okay, this is not right. So I went to the doctor and and they showed my blood sugars were at 560 something. And a normal range is between 90 and 120. So I was way off. Mm -hmm. I was going into a coma. So what was the first thing you did to kind of reverse that for yourself? Sure, so I- Lifestyle factors besides medication. Right, I I, I learned quickly that I need to learn about nutrition more. So I ended up getting a PhD in holistic nutrition. And I learned actually that a high fat diet is is a cause of insulin resistance. So you end up having to produce more insulin uh, in order to compensate for any sugars that come in. So, uh, it, it, I need to go into more detail, but um, yes, yeah, so that's one thing. So I lowered my fat and then I was able to have fruits without my sugars spiking, mm-hmm. which was important to learn. Uh, also about the wheat and the milk. I was on wheat and dairy before. Um, and so those things need to come out of my diet right away. Things like that. What about the stress level? We know that stress majorly plays into turning on the genes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, exploring childhood experiences mm-hmm. and doing a lot of work around that was important. And how they were triggering me to respond in ways that I that's not how I wanted to show up. Uh, also, starting my day, like I was just saying before, with, with, with being happy with myself. Mm-hmm. How many women look in the mirror and they point out the one thing they're not happy with? Oh. Guilty. Guilty. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead, like shift, look at the parts that you love mm-hmm. and say, thank you for that part. Mm-hmm. You know, as we put so much attention to like, right? You know, yeah. 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 It's, all exactly. it's all I see is this one little section. It's ridiculous. It's like, ridiculous, right? You know, but, so, but self-love is so important. If you can love yourself, then you can love others. You show up so nicely for the rest of the day and it's and your cells feel it. Right. Also, mm, no, I just, um, how did you, was there anything specific that you did in order to like reduce your stress and love yourself better? Was it just a commitment and a decision you made or were there specific tools and techniques that you practiced? 
So the specific tools was uh, quickly switching. So when I did look in the mirror and I pointed out the one thing, I said, no, what do I love about my body? Mm -hmm. So quickly switching the thoughts and also being more mindful about when I'm eating, um, being grateful for the food and taking the time to really honor my body when it says it's full. And then if I overeat or I overindulge or I go for the muffin when I know I shouldn't or something like that, instead of bashing myself afterwards, which is my specialty, mm -hmm. I, I would just say, you know what, that was what I needed. My soul needed that. Mm -hmm. And just and, and then I'll make wiser choices next time. And then next time I, I think, OK, how do I want to feel after I eat this? So interesting, right? I mean, we wonder if the muffin's worse for us or the guilt totally. that goes with the muffin, right? right. Because it's yeah, ridiculous. Because it's right? you're telling your body what I just ate was poison. Right? And so it is, yeah. right? And so it is. So take us from when you figured out you were diabetic mm. to creating the platform that you have. Yeah, quite a journey. The, the show actually has been healing me. So my goal was to, I was doing this anyway at home. I was reading articles, watching webinars, learning from all these wonderful experts. And then it's just for me. But I was like, why don't I share this with the world? So I started interviewing experts in all health and healing modalities. I love alternative healing modalities. Yeah. That's my favorite. Uh, but also nutrition, parenting, relationships. I love the gut brain health mm -hmm. so that fascinating. access. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. I mean, the antibiotics use and what we're doing oh. to our gut is those that those produce more um, serotonin and dopamine. Mm -hmm. These are your happy motivation right. drugs. There's like more there's more like biochemistry than our cells in our body. Like it's amazing. What it is it amazing. Down, right? Yeah. What these little bacteria are doing and we are sterilizing everything, including yeah. our insides. Mm -hmm especially with the types of food that we choose as well, because antibiotics are put into the food system in the livestock production as right. well. So what do well, we do? I mean, should we just yeah. give up? <laughs> I'm depressed. It's a lot, it's a lot, right? It is daunting. Right? For... <laughs> no, it is daunting. You're right. It is daunting. I mean, what are some simple steps that we and our viewers can implement in our daily lives just to make small but meaningful progress? Absolutely. First step, shop at your farmer's market. Buy all local organic sourced foods that are picked the day before, so they're ripe, they're fresh, they're not being trucked mm -hmm. from across the world or shipped. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, because if they cross, it's just they're being pl plucked way before they're even ripe. They're not even getting all the nutrients mm -hmm. out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And if it's not organic, they're really not getting the nutrients. Right. Uh, biodynamic farming is absolutely the ultimate ideal mm -hmm. source, uh, and that's Go again for yourself, for your environment, for the animals. It's so important. Buy, buy from your farmer's market. I love that Sunday farmer's market. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. Four days yeah. in Santa Monica. Yeah. Yeah. It always varies. It's June, but strawberries are unreal. Oh, the strawberries. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, well, and that's always been something that's been very important to me, too, is eat fruits and vegetables that are yes. of this season. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right, because the, uh, nature actually designed it that way. Mm -hmm. So in autumn, you'll see a lot of orangey colors. And orange has uh, loaded with beta carotene. And beta carotene stimulates your immune system, which prepares you for winter so you don't get sick. Mm -hmm. Nature is smart. Mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting <laughs> how many problems we create because we think we're smart or, or can outsmart nature itself, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of wild to me. So tell them what your platform is exactly, because not everybody knows what it is. Sure. Right now it's called Aspen Talks Health, which I may be rebranding because I'm moving to LA, <laughs> which She's I'm very excited about. Well, should she name it Manhattan <laughs> Talks or Venice Talks? Which one should she right? name it? <laughs> I know. Uh, I might end up with Dr. Nicola, the Dr. Nicola show, we mm -hmm. but we'll see. Uh, but so the, the platform is all about in interviewing experts. Mm -hmm. And so we learn together what we can do. And, and they usually share their journey. Most people have their own journey that led them. Again, mm -hmm. disease is a blessing, right? It leads them to, to researching more and finding out how, what the solutions are. I love it. Yeah. So important. Well, thank you for doing all that work for us. Thank we you. We truly appreciate it. Tell everyone where they can find and follow your journey. Uh, absolutely. AspenTalksHealth.com. Aspen Talks, T L I. T A L K S dot com and AspenTalksHealth.com and that's it. Yeah, or on Facebook, on YouTube is my main channel. And Instagram at Aspen Talks. Sure. Fantastic. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more in the morning mm -hmm. all in.